What's up, guys? I'm back with the um the Perfect Effects uh, Motobot PEDX01 RC. Um, just kind of wanted to focus a little more on uh, robot mode. You know, you can only do like a 12 minute video on my phone with YouTube, so you know I was pressed for time before. Um, obviously this is her in uh, robot mode. Sniper rifles all put together, right? You know, this is uh the gun that goes down here actually pops off. You know, but turns into the tripod. I mean, not the tripod, the kickstand for you know, if you want to lay her down or whatever, and it folds back up. She can hold it with both hands. And this figure is very articulated. Like it's, it's. I actually love this figure. It's one of my. It's probably one of my top five favorite Transformer toys, whether it's official, third party. I really like this figure a lot. Um, I got her. Here goes next to her. Uh, this is the first edition New York Comic Con RC since she's pink. Now she. This is more of a G1 pink sorta. This is like a hot pink, but I actually prefer this color better. Um, here's her next to the RID RC, about the same height. And then this is her next to the Dark of the Moon RC, which is crap. <laughs> That's no other way to put it. I mean, if you're looking at it as an RC figure, it's crap. But if you're looking at it as just maybe something different, it's not too bad. The bike mode is amazing. I like the way the, it looks in bike mode. It's great. But robot mode, eh. if it wasn't so much for this bendy torso part it, and maybe if the arms worked a little better it wouldn't be so bad I wouldn't mind the wheels but I don't know it's crazy but this, this this is this is the bad boy right here I love this figure all the weapons store the two guns go right here two swords go in the back I just love this figure it's so sturdy the detail the paint um as you can see, you, you don't see any kind of, like, pegs, really, in the hips. Um, they tried to minimize screw holes by covering them up. Nice, you know, paint detail in the shoulders and stuff. And get up here close. You know, it's just, like, little stuff like that, man. Like, the uh, actually, the, um, the two side things, they push in for the transformation, and you pull them out. So, uh, it looks more like... You know, a G1 RC head, sorta. Let's see the face sculpt a little better. Nice little face sculpt. The detail on the gun is great. I just... They did a great job on this figure, man. They really did. I think they did. Got paint apps right here on the barrel. Paint app, paint app. You know, you just got the... Just... The, the detail is, is great. I just love it. You got the silver stripes in the clip. Like, this would have just been black plastic. This would have been black. You know, it, there wouldn't have been no paint apps on a Hasbro toy, pretty much. Like, most of this would have been, like, this figure. Barely no kind of detail. Like, just a little bit here, thing, the knees and the face. Everything else is pretty much flush plastic. This has shit everywhere. I love it. I just love it. I love how thin the wheels are, like a futuristic bike, and they actually roll around, like, very nice. Look at, like, two little red dots down there, like, they didn't have to put that there, man, like, that minute detail is just what st stands it apart. It really does. Just all the little red arrows on the back of the legs, right there, right there, the little silver square right there. Two little red dots on the fin. Little yellow arrows on the hip. I love that it has it has ab articulation and it's not part of the transformation. Well, it, it sort of blends in, but it's actually not really part of the trans. I don't know, it's hard to explain. You get it. But, I don't know, the detail. I love how it's got the bendable wrists like this. like So you can... Take her sword, put it in her hand, 
and have her arm out forward with her sword sticking forward. Because most figures, if you put the arm out forward, the wrist is stuck like that. This you can bend down. It's, it's a really nice figure, man. Really nice. They did a great job. I have to give it to Perfect Effects. They did delay the figure, but if it meant just making this figure even more perfect, <laughs> no pun intended. It's just a very nice figure. I'm very pleased with it. Very pleased. I couldn't get the visor on, though. The visor is kind of a pain in the ass to get on. That's the only thing I couldn't really get on. I've got, like, little details in there and stuff. It's got a little paint in there. You know, it's just, that's nice touch. Like, little things like that that just make the figure stand out so much more. Stupid little paint apps that wouldn't cost any more money. It's like the shit that dries on the end of the fucking spray gun that Hasbro can do with, like, this figure. You know, maybe, like, a little dot right there, dot, you know, that would make this figure just pop a little more. I don't know. They probably waste more paint than they could have just threw a couple more pieces on the figure, you know? I don't know, maybe it's just me. But yeah, this is a great figure. I don't... <clears throat> I want to get the blue one, but I don't really have the cash right now. I have... I just had to pay for uh, the uh, Maki Toys Set C. That should be that comes in next Tuesday. Well, this Tuesday coming up. Can't wait for that. I got a review coming in for that. And then my uh, my uh, what are those called? My Rebel Tech uh, Dark of the Moon Bumblebee should be coming in tomorrow. So I should have a, a video up for that pretty soon. But yeah, if you're thinking about getting this figure, you got the cash. Trust me, pick it up. Because once word gets around that this is a great figure, yo, it's going to fly off the shelves. I think people were holding off on it or whatever, but this, I believe, is the best RC figure, hands down. Hands down. I don't think there's another RC figure that compares to this figure. Unless you want a complete G1 look, then you go with the eye gear, you know, toy. But if you're looking for something a little more updated, more articulation, you know. Because that eye gear one's got little feet, man. It barely stands up. You can't do nothing but stand it straight up. But, um, no, it does come with a stand, though, but whatever. But, yeah, this figure, 10 out of 10 in my book, man. 10 out of 10. I love this figure. Got nothing bad to say about it. Absolutely great. The backpack, I mean, that's our boosters right there. There's nothing else, though. Nothing else. It, it looks great. And they're not ridiculously big. You know, they stay right there. It's great. Oh, I want to show you this too. Where'd I put it? Where'd I put it? Where'd I put it? Where'd I put it? Damn it, where did I put it? I don't know what I did with it. Where did I put it? Oh, right here. Do -do 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 -do. This right here, the, the comic book. Here we go. I'm doing another 10 minute video here. But it shows, you know, it shows Wheelie in here. Oh, let me take this camera. It shows Wheelie. I don't know if they're going to do a figure for that. It shows Rodimus. And then it shows Black Arachnia, or Arachnid, as a motorcycle right there. I don't know if these are future plans for more figures, but I hope so because they look nice. And it shows her. She's pink and this is all training, like a VR training. She's pink. They show, um, what you call it, bludgeoned right there. And uh, Sharktacon. But yeah, I hope they come out with these figures. That would be awesome. Looking forward to it. They did a great job on this. If they can make figures like this again, I'm buying them. Take it easy, guys.